Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, and in this video, I'm going to show you one of Adobe's newest tools for the desktop version of Illustrator. It's the Rotate View tool. Now, I'm using Illustrator's version 25.3.1, and as long as you have that or a newer version, this is going to work for you. Now, in the past, when we used the hand tool, it just moves your canvas up and down or from side to side. But this tool is going to allow you to actually rotate the canvas and access whatever you want in a way that's comfortable for you to use either your mouse or a stylus. I'll activate the tool by coming over to the left toolbar. I'm going to press down on the hand tool that gives me a flyout menu and I'm able to select the rotate view tool. The keyboard shortcut for that is shift H. And I recommend that you learn that keyboard shortcut so that you can toggle back and forth between the Rotate View tool and the tool that you're using to draw with. We have the Rotate View tool active. So all I have to do is press down with my mouse and push in the direction that I want the canvas to move. Next, I'm going to get the Blob tool. That's keyboard shortcut Shift B. And I want my blob to be just a little bit bigger than what you see here on the end of my paintbrush. So I'll press down on the right bracket key and each time I press down, it gets just a little bit larger. I'm gonna start adding some hair, my little blue guy here. And when I have what I want done here, then I'm going to get the rotate view tool, keyboard shortcut shift H and drag this over to the other side. Go back to the blob tool, keyboard shortcut shift B, and we'll draw some hair on the other side. And I think you can see this is gonna be a helpful tool for some of the different illustrations you're creating. And when I'm finished, all I have to do is press the escape key and my artboard goes back to its normal view. I hope you find this tip useful. I know I'm going to be using the Rotate Canvas view as I work on my illustrations. And I would ask you right now to consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.